Hi, YMCA families. This is Mike from the West Essex YMCA. I hope everyone is doing well on this sunny weekend. Um, I want to take some time to read to you this a really great story. It's um, it's a very relevant story, and I couldn't be right on time with reading this um, amazing book. And it's called The Peace Book. It's written. It's one of my favorite stories, but also written by my one of my favorite authors, Todd Parr. And as we look uh, at the news and on social media, um, I couldn't be right on time with this book. Um, so today, I hope that you are able to sit down with your kids, with the family, and enjoy this story and really open a conversation with your kids. Be open with them and talk to your kids about the peace and being kind. Let's begin. The Peace Book. Peace is making new friends. Peace is keeping the water blue for all the fish. Peace is listening to different kinds of music. Peace is saying you're sorry when, you're, when you've hurt someone. Peace is helping your neighbor. Peace is reading all different kinds of books. Peace is thinking about someone you love. Peace is giving shoes to someone who needs them. Peace is planting a tree. Peace is sharing a meal. Peace is wearing different clothes. Peace is watching it snow. Peace is keeping the streets clean. Peace is offering a hug to a friend. Peace is everything, everyone having a home. Peace is growing a garden. Peace is taking a nap. Peace is learning another language. Peace is having enough pizza in the world for everyone. Love pizza. Mm -hmm. Peace is keeping someone warm. Peace is new babies being born. Peace is being free. Peace is traveling to different places. Peace is wishing on a star. Peace is being who you are. This is a message from the author, and I really want to read this to you. Peace is being different, feeling good about yourself, and helping others. The world is a better place because of you. Love that. So I, the end, and I really love this story. Um, the one of the stories that I really like is... Um, one of the pages, or actually a few pages, I'm going to discuss is Peace is Sharing a Mail, of just sharing a mail with someone you love, um, whether it's friends, whether it's family, and just really um, enjoying each other's company. Peace is giving shoes to someone who needs them, so really paying it forward and spreading the kindness and being grateful for what you have and being able to um, spread it to other people. And peace is learning another language. So really um, improving yourself and uh, having you learn different languages, different cultures, um, and that will allow your kids and yourself to appreciate and understand what everyone else is um, understanding and appreciating too. And the last one that I really like, if I can find it, let's see. Is, peace is watching it snow. 
And I love this because sometimes you just need to stop what you're doing in the busy life that we have and just to watch and to reflect and to really think and meditate. And this is a great mindfulness activity. I know it's not snowing now, but it's a great mindfulness activity um, for you to teach your kids on to kind of relax, not go so quick, not rush all the time, and just really reflect and meditate on who they are and where they are. So um, I challenge you, this is my challenge for today. Um, after I, reading the peace book is I challenge you guys to be kind and it's as simple as it is and it's that simple and it's that easy to be kind to one another. Um, I hope that you're viewing this, uh, this video and after reading the story is that you take on this challenge and really spread kindness um, to whoever you are. Start with your family, start with yourself, start with your family, your friends, and then start and then continue with strangers of being kind to one another. And I hope that you um, I hope that you really take this challenge on and also that you allow your kids to take this challenge on so they can spread kindness to one another. Guys, I thank you, everyone. I thank you guys for um, tuning in and I hope that you really um, use this challenge to reflect, to spread kindness and to be thoughtful to one another. Thank you guys, be kind.